Podcast, sponsored by The Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of The Bobby Bones Show. We're so thrilled to have on world-renowned photographer who also has a brand new book out, Jeff Asano. Jeff, thanks for coming on the show. Eric, thank you so much for having me. You know what? It's, it's like great. we know so many of the same people, but yeah, yeah. i got to tell you, this new book, Americana Portrait Sessions, which uh, I think everybody's going to need a copy of this, you got to feel great about this. I mean, being a photographer for so many years and then coming out with your first book through Vanderbilt. Yeah. How does yeah. that feel? It, right now, <laughs> uh, it, it's surreal. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, it's because this book has been in the works since 2019. Wow. And having it out now to me is still really surreal. Like, mm -hmm. and looking through it, um, it's just surreal. That's the only the word that I can come up with. It's, it's surreal. Like you, you look, I look through and I'm like, and oh, here's the cool part. So. We live in this age of, uh, we're looking at photos on computer, computer screens. Right. And when I first got this, I'm looking through it, and I'm like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> the reason why right. is because I have never seen 95% of these images printed. That's crazy, because they've always been in digital. They're looking on a screen. I said 5% of that I've seen printed at one point or another, mm -hmm. but seeing them printed is being, bringing back to the way when I first started. Right, which I prefer. It's like yeah. I was telling you when we talked, you know, I think my favorite images in here are the black and white ones. Mm -hmm. and, and also that you do such an incredible job of catching the artists and the bands, like we were talking about Marty Stewart and Vince Gill and so many incredible, I mean, Keb Moe obviously on the front, you know, to where you, you capture them, the texture and the lighting. Mm. You have a very natural way of catching these images and then showcasing them. Mm. But, you know, but you had over 700 to choose from. Yeah. How did you thin it down to like 200? My buddy Merlin David, who is the publisher of M Music and Musicians Magazine in LA, we uh, got together right. and we started looking at these images and he came up with the criteria that the image needs, think of the image hanging on a gallery wall by itself. That is big thinking. Because, you know, the first thing I thought, you know, and, and you and I are friends on social media, and we've obviously met each other before at NAMM shows and everything else and concerts, to where that's what I thought. I thought, you know, I, I thought, what a great pairing to be able to have, you know, these images on walls, you yeah. know, in frames and the book, along with it to yeah. where it's like, hey, you want to take it home? It's like we were talking about like with the Frist. Yeah. You know, which I love going to the shows there here in Nashville. But, you know, it's, it's such visual art that you've accomplished. And, and it's so interesting too, Jeff, that, you know, not only musicians, but I mean, obviously you've, you've covered actors and actresses mm -hmm. and sports stars and all this, but I prefer your musician ones. Oh, cool. Because it seems cool. like you really have a feel for it. So, so um, when I was working my corporate job, now, we've got to tell this story. Now, you, you were a corporate guy yeah. for 40 years, but then at 33, you decided in New York to start chasing your passion, and your dad was, like, supportive. It, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so um, uh, I worked in the corporate world in uh, New York City for 18 years. Mm -hmm. Suit and tie, behind a desk, and, uh, but went back to school to Parsons in 1988 to study photography. Wow. And I'll get emotional here with um, Mario Cabrera. Right. And he, the book's dedicated to mm -hmm. Mario. Yes, it is. And he, he's my mentor, my teacher, and not so in, in photography, but, but he was a drill sergeant, and he pushed and pushed and pushed. And he was like, he's like a coach who sees an incredible amount of talent and mm -hmm. wants to get it out of you. Right. And Cabrera was like that. And he just had a way of teaching you mm -hmm. how to see light. Wow. Because photography is all about light. Right. And I tell young photographers today, it doesn't matter if you, you sh what you're shooting, what you know, Photoshop system you have or anything like that. His, our, his first assignment 
Mm -hmm. We're sitting in class. His first assignment was, and we're all, we're all psyched. We've got our cameras with it. He said, I want you to go to Barnes & Noble or whatever bookstores are around that time and go look and see how Rembrandt painted light. Wow. That's inspirational. And we were all, we were bummed. It's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> so I went to Barnes & Noble on 22nd Street, on uh, 5th Avenue and 22nd Street, the big Barnes & Noble. Walked in there, got a big, one of those big books of Rembrandt. Love those. It totally changed my world. Mm -hmm. It rocked my world. I'm looking at how Rembrandt painted light. Mm -hmm. And I went, holy crap, look at that. Look at that. And um, so we went back and to, to, you know, the next Friday we went back and he, he just went around there and what did you, you know, what do you think? Right. That is when I, I, I got what he was trying to do mm -hmm. because I capture it. Rembrandt painted it. Right. And if folks, if you want to look at something that's extraordinary, go and look at how Rembrandt painted light. Mm -hmm. And that's where he started. He goes, this, this is about looking at what light does. Which you were so good at. Thank you. In these photographs. I think that's what uh, I enjoyed so much with each and every one of these. And like we were talking to, you know, you, you cover so many different artists and bands, and so it's not just the A-listers. You know, right. it's like, you know, and certainly within the Americana, you know, this is your first book, Jeff, but also it's the first book of its kind to represent Americana artists. Yes, it is. That's a big step. Yes, it is. Because, yes, you know, is. you look at, uh, you know, you've been involved with the Americana Festival here in Nashville for mm -hmm. years, and, you know, they've, they've gotten so much recognition. I mean, you look at the artists that are within this book, and how they have progressed through the years. Yeah. Yep. Well, that was, that's the whole thing. And, and put it this way, everybody in this book is an A-lister to me. Totally. So when you're in the Americana genre, even though you, I have, you know, Judy Collins, Stephen Stills, Vince Gill, Sheryl Crow, I also have Sierra Farrell, Sierra Hull, right. I've got Corb Lund, I've got all of these wonderful artists who I love, mm -hmm. and I love all their music, and in the Americana world, they're A-listers. Right, right. But, but the, the whole world doesn't know about them. The mainstream exactly. world doesn't know about them. And they should, I have Courtney Marie Andrews in, mm -hmm. in this book, who I absolutely love. So there's just a lot of um, Jason Eskridge. Right. Uh, Jason Eskridge, who's got one of the most beautiful voices that I have ever heard. Mm -hmm is in this book. Well, and that they open themselves up to you, you know, and, and certainly, you know, uh, your, your images have been in, in Time, in Vogue, in Guitar Player, mm -hmm. Guitar Aficionado, the list goes on and on. New York Times, LA, you know, it's like, you've had photographs in all of these publications, mm -hmm. but also you have access, and, and how did you end up with, uh, with Mary writing the, uh, the forward for this? She's one of my best friends. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know. Mary, Mary, and I, if you read that forward, I've known Mary a long time, and she's, a, she's one of my best friends. Mm -hmm. And I just said, hey, you want to write the forward to my book? And she goes, yeah. And, and we, we had, uh, so I, she lives on the west side of Nashville. Mm -hmm. I live on the west side of Nashville. I ran into her in, a, in the bank one day. And we're talking, and I, I said, hey, have you seen uh, Bohemian Rhapsody yet? And she said, no. I go, you want to go? So Mary and I went to see Bohemian Rhapsody together. And at the end of the movie, we both walked out of there sobbing. Wow, yeah, such a powerful movie. And uh, I get emotional right now thinking mm -hmm. about it. And, and we looked at each other and hugged, and we got it. Mm -hmm. We got Freddie Mercury. We are that guy as artists. Right. And... Uh, when you read the forward, she references those moments and as part of, as part of our, our friendship and, uh, and, and the people in the, this amazing, amazing, all-inclusive uh, genre of Americana. Well, you know, and I was kidding you when we got in here in studio too, Jeff, to where it's like, you know, with this being your first book, with this being the first of its kind, you know, with Americana artists, it's like, well, you've got to start working on your second book, but also you're planning a huge amount 
of book signings yeah. and and showings, and I certainly hope that you have you know full size portraits of these. We do with the artist to put up on the walls. I mean, what a what an immersive experience, and you're going to have a video also playing. Yeah, yeah. So we're doing uh, uh, which also got me very emotional. Um, the Stax Museum in Memphis came to me uh, and asked me if I wanted to do something with the book. And we're going to be doing a big exhibit down at Stax in Memphis with a uh, big party book signing. And they're going to be looping a video of me talking about that throughout the entire uh, exhibit that um, will run for about three months. That's incredible. That's in, they, uh, that we'll be doing that in in July. Well, and and I've got to bring up too, uh, you know, as you and I were talking before we came in studio, to where it seems to me this book would certainly lends itself to do country music hall of fame, yeah. rock and roll hall of fame. I mean, the list goes on and on. I mean, you could go and do this in the Met or MoMA in New York. Yeah, yeah, we're we're we, we're working on a lot of things, but uh, we'll be doing something at the Glen Campbell Museum. Um, and you have Ashley in here. Ashley Campbell's in there. Right. Uh, taken backstage at, at uh, the Opry. Mm -hmm. I was there with the Old Crow Medicine Show that oh, night. Love Don Flemons and Chuck Mead was there. And um, I, I feel like you've been shooting at the Rock and Review actually, because so many of the artists in your book have been on the show at one time. Or oh, another. no doubt. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. We, we know no a doubt. lot of the same people. It's just yeah, yeah. you take incredible photos of them that Thank are just you. etched in time. That, you know, that, that's one of the things Cabrera taught us. I, I studied, I began this journey studying with a photojournalist. So for me, I use one light. One wow. light. Just one light. That's all I need is one light because I studied as a photojournalist. Mm -hmm. This is not about, when I'm shooting, it's not about me. It's not about me creating some sort of Annie Leibovitz-ish, you know, David LaChapelle-ish thing that's all. To me, I'm capturing moments, right. which is what I learned is what photojournalists do. Mm -hmm. You're a photojournalist. You have photojournalistic instincts. It's about knowing when the moment's going to happen mm -hmm. before you know the moment's going to happen. Wow. And you have this instinct. And Cabrera... Was, he, worked, he was an AP photographer, and that's how I learned. Mm -hmm. it's, it's be ready for the moments. So I might be setting up my light. You know, here's the light over here. But, but I'm waiting for the moment wow. to happen. And, and whatever that is. Mm -hmm. And if you've ever been on a photo shoot for me, I go, that's it, don't move. <laughs> and, they'll, and they'll look, and, and, and then what I'm capturing is a moment that's not in my brain, mm -hmm. that's in my heart. Right. I'm feeling and that's art. this moment with, with this artist uh, who I'm shooting and trying to go deeper with, within that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and I've got my lights on, I light my light on wheels and I move it around, and, but it's not, thanks to Cabrera, I, I learned how mm -hmm. to do that. You're not positioning the artist, you're, you're catching a moment in time. Yeah. Which is so different. That's the whole. That's the whole idea. Well, I got to ask you this then. You know, obviously, leaving the corporate world at forty, and now you're a few years older, twenty-five years down the road. Did you have any grasp when you left the corporate world to pursue your passion of photography that you would be here today with this book? Are you nuts? <laughs> I was just trying to make sure that dinner was on the table. Uh, you know, that night. Right. Uh, no, no. Uh, I'll go back to the corporate world, uh, mm -hmm. and, and I'm working one day, and my friend Donna looks at me, she says, what do you want to do with this photography? And I said, I want to shoot music. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's about finding what you love, not what you love doing. What, what fuels you? What do you love? I love music, like right. you love music. Right. We love music. Mm -hmm. Whatever that does for us, this world would be nothing without music. Everybody loves music. Find me a person who doesn't love music. Right, some form. Some form of music mm -hmm. and what it does for them. Mm -hmm. And that's what I said to her. She goes, my friend, 
is the, is the VP at RCA Records. And I went, Donna. I, and this is back in the day with no websites. Back, right. I had my portfolio. I said, can I get my portfolio up there? Yeah. She goes, yeah, yeah, let me call her. So I went up, and she was the VP of Classical. And I dropped off my portfolio. Two weeks later, they called me. I got a shoe with James Galway. Wow. And, and then I, how many album covers has your artwork been on? Oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't know. Lost count? Oh yeah, I I've That's got them all. Problem. I got all of my. I've got them all in my closet <laughs> in in my in my house. Uh, I saved every right. every single record cover mm -hmm. that I was on, whether uh, from vinyl to CDs. Right. Um, I've got them all. It, and 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 it's, so powerful. and it's even just the little ones. Like mm -hmm. even when I first started out, you know, when you get a CD and they put a piece of paper right. in there, mm -hmm. I still have those. Although I prefer the albums to where you had the pictures of the bands. Right. You had, you know, it, once again, it was art while you're listening to art. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, you had the liner notes. And, um, so so I, uh, one, of the, one of my favorite people in the world is Joan Osborne. Mm -hmm. and Joan, Which you have a picture of you two together in the back of the book. Yeah. Uh, and Joan and I uh, have done a bunch of things together. Mm -hmm. I've been shooting Joan since 2014. And then she's be, just become a great... Uh, friend, but here, here's the cool part. Let me, I'll, I'll back up a little bit. Um, one day someone asked me, uh, I, don't, I don't know who it was, who are the three women that you've never photographed that you always want to photograph? Mm -hmm. And I mentioned Joan Osborne because I remember coming in, and this is how much we love music. I was living in New York and uh, on Staten Island at the time, and where I'm from, and I came in and I put on WNEW FM and I hear this song and this woman mm -hmm. singing this song. And I had never heard anything like it. Right. And I stopped, I sat on my bed and I listened. It was Joan singing Right Hand Man, mm -hmm. which to me is one of the all time greatest rock and roll songs ever. Right. And I, I, I went, I have to meet this woman one day. Mm -hmm. So anyway, she asked me that question. And then I said, Joan Osborne, Sheryl Crow, and Drew Barrymore. And I still have yet to photograph Drew Barrymore. Two so, out of three. So Drew, if you're out there and watching this, <laughs> I, I will do it and I'll give you a great rate. Uh, <laughs> Put it in the universe. Yeah, so, uh, and I wound up working with Joan mm -hmm. and then shooting Sheryl here Obviously. for Guitar Aficionado magazine. Um, but, Joan and I did the, did the Dylan record together. And the shot that's in there, mm -hmm. when you open up the vinyl, that photograph is boom. Wow. In both pages. And that, I was like, this is the way it used to be. When right. you know, when you were, you were a kid and you'd totally. come home and you get the record, mm -hmm. before you even put the record on, it was like you start, you're looking at everything and opening it you up. Have to. Yeah. All like all the old Yes records, yeah. oh, totally. and Pink Floyd. And, mm -hmm. uh, and so I chose that. That is why we chose that image. Incredible. To be exact, and, and the designer put it in the in the book exactly that way. You're living the dream, Jeff. I guess I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I want to make sure for our viewers, obviously, to get their own copy and signed by you, with your website, with social media, with obviously, you know, the stack showing everything else you're going to have going this year, and you know, further out, where do they need to go, you know, with your with your website and social media. Well, to purchase this on my website, it's jefffasano.com. Uh, Instagram, it's at Jeff, at Jeff Fasano Photo. Facebook, just put in Jeff Fasano, you'll find me. I've got a couple of pages there. You can also uh, get it through Vanderbilt University Press. They're the publishers of the book, and you can get the book, you can get the book through them as well. And at all your local bookstores. Mm -hmm. Go, go to Parnassus Books here in, in Nashville and ask them for the book. I'll tell you what, you know, and Vandy did such a great job on this printing with the images. Just, it's, it's such a classy book. It's one of those things to where, you know, you want to go through it again and again and, and leave it out on your table for other people to enjoy when they come and visit you. It's just, it's, it's just great images, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you and, very I, and much. I also look forward to seeing the showing to where you're going to have these in framed, you know, larger scale photos as well, besides the book. Yeah, we're working on that. We've got a couple, couple in the works. Um, 
I'll be at um, the Blues Museum in May, mm -hmm. doing, doing an event, probably doing, doing an exhibit there in January. Um, the Roots Americana Folk Hall of Fame in Boston will be there at the end of September in, or early October. But if you're going to be in Nashville, folks, come to Americana Fest because there's big things going on with this book at Americana Fest in September. And they might be able to see you at work there, too, kind of like City Winery. Right, right. I'll with be, your camera. I'll be doing my portrait sessions <laughs> um, there. This I want to see again. the video with you. That's what I want to say. I'm going to come just to see the video and everything, you know, with you behind the scenes and, you know. Oh, at, at uh, yeah, yeah. At, at Stacks. Uh, at Stacks. We, yeah. We've yet to put that together. Yeah, it's, it's coming, though. Yeah, we've got to, we've got to start More working. More great things. Well, I'll tell you what, it's an incredible book. Be sure and get your own copy, but you're going to need it signed by this guy. Americana Portrait Sessions by Jeff Fasano. Great book. Congratulations on Thanks. all the success. I think you're going to have a lot more. Thanks. And you're living the dream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're living the dream. Be sure and get your own copy of the book and uh, go get it signed by Jeff. Sponsored by The Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of a Bobby Bones show.